Joining us now for more about Congo's election is Jacques Bahati, Policy Director for the Africa Faith and Justice Network. Welcome to In Focus, Mr. Bahati. Thank you very much. Thank you much so much for, for being me. back with us. You were here not too long ago. Mm -hmm. Now, specifically about these elections, as a Congolese, how significant do you think they are in really bringing about meaningful change? Um, this exercise is very, very important. Uh, as far as um, uh, meaningful change, I don't expect so much, but the exercise in itself, it's very important in building Congolese capacity to uh, go forward as a democratic uh, nation. What would you want to see come out of these elections? What is of real concern to you that you feel these elections should address? Uh, these elections should have been a necessary forum for uh, uh, providing uh, the, the plan for the country, namely uh, security, mm -hmm. uh, freedom, uh, human rights, and many more. Uh, and I want to underscore the fact that uh, the Congo is unstable and we need peace. In the eastern part, we still have militias, we still have the threats of neighbors. Mm -hmm. uh, the one who is to take on this country must address those issues. And it looks like it might be Mr. Kabila again. How, in your opinion, is he likely to tackle that issue? How popular is he and how, what's the likelihood that he will be re-elected and that, and that he will address those issues? Uh, I think uh, Kabila m could be re-elected uh, as far as I'm concerned, given the fact that he changed the constitution to just accommodate his, his re-election. Um, that means uh, he will not change that much. He has been in power for quite some time, and we don't expect him to do better than he did. Um, giving space for, to other people would be a better uh, move. Well, there are 10 presidential candidates um, who are vying for the presidency. How mm -hmm. likely is any of them going to unseat? How is Etienne Chisekedi, for instance, or do any of them really pose a strong challenge to Kabila? Um, I am not very sure, but it's good to try. But um, uh, the likelihood for any of the opposition to be uh, uh, elected is very slim. Unfortunately, the opposition did not uh, consolidate uh, their position so that they can present one candidate to stand against Kabila. That could have been the best uh, move, but uh, a divided opposition is very weak. Now, uh, Mr. Kabila is promising, if he's re-elected, mm -hmm. to address among, the, among other issues, of course, security, as you mentioned, but also infrastructure, create jobs, and uh, address education, health care. What, in your opinion, has been the reason why he has not adequately addressed those? Uh, the vision. He lacks vision. That young man um, does not have the gut to address the issues that Congo has. Congo has been ruled by a dictator for so long, and the issues are so deep. Um, so um, we need somebody with a greater vision and who is strong. And we, we see the same behavior of m taking more from the, the nation than giving to the nation. Many people are talking about the, the, what he has built in the, in, in the West and so on, but we want to know how much those who are uh, around him and him took out of the accounts uh, in, the, in, the, in this process, mm -hmm. and that is a very big issue. Last time you were here, we were talking about the um, sexual violence in Eastern Congo. In your opinion, has there been any change, considering that there are laws against sexual violence there? The, the law is there, but those who are committing the crimes are still in the bushes. And that is... Some have been prosecuted, though. S some, some people have been prosecuted, and we need to see who. Uh, those they, they, they choose to give out, then they let them be prosecuted. But there are many, many more who should be prosecuted, but they are protected. So um, okay. the militias need to be uh, uh, dealt with, and, and the other uh, grievances uh, from those who are causing problems need to be, uh, need to be addressed. Thank you so much. We've run out of time. All right. that Thank is, you very much. We really appreciate you coming to be with us. Jacques Bahati, policy analyst with the Africa Faith and Justice Network, a Catholic-based organization that advocates for better U.S. relations with Africa on issues such as peace building, human rights, and justice.